You're here, I'm queer, and welcome back to my channel. Hi Barbies! Um, oh, and hi Ken. The Barbie movie is out and the theaters are flooded with everything pink. This movie has had the most exciting marketing ever, from multiple collaborations, dolls, and of course, red carpet moments. Margot and her team did such an amazing job at recreating original Barbie looks and I knew I had to make my own twist at it. I'm really really excited to show you guys, so let's get started. So this is the doll that we will be starting with. I got this, I believe, from Amazon. And um, yeah, this is like one of her signature outfits from the movie. I really, really like the quality of this doll and also the fabrics of this doll. Um, like the clothing is real fabric. It's not those, um, the, the paper type of feeling. Um, so that's really, really good. And um, the body is like your 2000s fashionista body. So uh, I'm not really... It's okay. I thought like obviously it has articulation. It could have been made to move. But um, yeah, I mean, it's fine. But the face mold of this doll is really, really ex exquisite. It's like beautifully molded into Margot's likeness. And I'm really, really excited to um, play along and try to repaint this and do my best to make it look like um, realistic. First, I want to actually set her hair. We're not going to be rerouting. We're, you know, we're taking this and I'm going to restyle it. I want to give her a um, vintage Hollywood um, page boy, like a long one. So... Yeah, it's gonna be like very Jessica Rabbit almost. So I'm just taking my straws and also bobby pins and we are curling her hair um, downwards. And this will help us give that vintage wave. After that's done, I have my boiling, well, it's not boiling anymore, but my really, really hot water over here. And then I'm going to be dipping it onto the icy water. This will set the hair plastic in place and hopefully will give us a beautiful curl. I'm taking my acetone. You may also use nail polish remover to remove the factory paint. Luckily, this one has your... Um, original style of factory paint. It's not the pixelated kind, so it was very easy to remove. For her body, I want to change her into this Model Muse doll, and um, I feel like it fits better, like with the elegant pose and everything like that. And this actually works well with the dress that I am planning on giving her. So yeah, and this one matches her, um, like Margot's head the most. It's not a perfect match, but it is the closest. And after that, let's cover up everything, her body and also her hair, and we can spray her with Mr. Super Clear to prime her face so we can actually draw on it using our watercolor pencils, pastels, and paints and all of that. So yeah, let's go ahead and start um, sketching her features and again I want to disclose I'm not really um, a realism type of artist you know I do what I can but for the most part I feel like it's still very very stylized um, so yeah but I want to give her kind of like a side eye I feel like it works best with the pose I'm thinking for her and um, the overall look and demeanor and if you like I love a good side eye why not you know one thing I got excited about for Margot Robbie dolls is you can make a um, live action Harley Quinn and I've seen a couple of people do that on Instagram so I was like yes it is like the perfect like doll head for her so maybe one of these days I will revisit my Harley Quinn 
and、um, give it the Margot Robbie twist, you know, in Barbie scale. The Harley Quinn I made before was like a doll hybrid, so maybe this time we can do a Barbie scale for it, you know? I definitely want to give this doll、um, very minimal makeup. Margot doesn't really have like dramatic makeup when it comes to the red carpets. They're mostly very neutrals and maybe like a smoky brown here and there, but they weren't really, really crazy. So, for the most part, I did everything in terms of like shading,、um, a little bit of shadow,、um, lots of blush because. That's just who I am.、Um, I contoured with a blush and then I gave her an actual cheek,、uh, cheekbone contour. And I think that really brings out the sculpt of this head. My favorite thing to contour was her nose and also her smile lines. I don't know why, but I thought. Like shading it and deepening those、um, like molds really emphasizes the Margot Robbie look. Her eyes is actually kind of like gray in some photos.、Um, So, I tried to add a little bit more gray and white into her irises. It ended up being icy blue, so I don't really mind that. I really wanted to dress up and drag to watch the Barbie movie, but it is so freaking hot here in Vegas, and luckily I didn't because the cinema we went to didn't have their AC on. So. Yeah, it was not good.、Um, but it would have been really fun strutting down the theater in my vintage Barbie look. And now it's time to give her some beautiful cat eye. I tried my best and controlled myself to not make this way too、um, extra、um, and go into the drag queen、uh, territory, but you know, I couldn't help myself. I did give her a little bit of a sharp wing. Because why not, you know? Did you guys watch the movie yet? If so, what did you guys think? I liked it, but I thought there were too many plot points that they tried to put in there, and it ended up not being as fleshed out as it could have been. To give her some life, I am adding white onto her tear ducts and also her catch lights. For her lips, I am adding、um, like red paint, and this one is、um, a glossy kind.、Um, I just thought it was perfect.、Um, I was gonna give her pink lips, but then I was like, oh, I think. For the overall look I'm going for, I think red would be more appropriate. And yes, after some time, I am drawing her lashes this time.、Uh, it's been a while since I've drawn on lashes. Usually I do my 3D real lashes, so I was like, this might be a cool break from. Gluing on the lashes. I think, like, drawn on lashes on Barbie scale is fine because sometimes when you do the realistic lashes,、um, it will cast a shadow onto the doll's eyes, which I don't like. So, yeah, I think drawing on the lashes this time was appropriate. And of course, we have to give her some highlighter. And yes, I tried my best to pull back and not highlight the entire face. Um, but I use pink highlighter and also silver、um, on her cheeks, on her nose, and a little bit on her forehead. And after that's done, we are finally able to let her hair down.、Um, I'm hoping that these are going to be really, really curly.、Um, but unfortunately, they were not as tightly curled as I would like it to be, which is fine.、Um, 
I didn't want it to be too curly anyway because then I would have to brush it out completely. But yeah, it was still malleable, I guess, in terms of styling it. I guess it has been a while since I styled... I'm assuming this is nylon hair or maybe saran hair. Um, like hair other than yarn. It's been a while since I styled um, hair other than yarn. I think maybe the last one was Isabella Madrigal from Encanto. I don't even know. But uh, yeah. I feel like I haven't done this style like the Hollywood Jessica Rabbit page boy look in blonde. So that one was kind of exciting for me. I was like, okay, come on, blonde girl. So the outfit I'm giving her is this Generations of Dreams dress. And I thought, oh my god, this would have been such a perfect, like, red carpet or pink carpet moment for Margot Robbie because it literally has all of the Barbies in the dress. Um, and I thought this would have been so perfect if she came out with this. And seeing this life size would have been so iconic to just have all of the different Barbies in there. So I thought this will be a really, really cool look to give this doll. And obviously, I got this doll because of her model muse body. Um... So yeah, I have no idea what I did with that doll. It's probably the Scarlet Witch doll I made. Um, but yeah, so now we're giving this dress back onto a different owner. And that's gonna be Margot Robbie as Barbie. Of course, we can't go wrong with pink um, Model Muse pumps. And yes, we are gonna be giving her some red bottoms. Margot did such a phenomenal job with her acting and she really is the perfect fit for Barbie. It was really fun to notice all of the different Barbies that made an appearance. Which one was your favorite? I'm touching up her lips a little bit over here. It wasn't as glossy as I would like it, so I'm just adding some Sculpey Glaze to it to give it more of the wet look. I'm giving her the original earring that this doll came with because I thought it was perfect for the overall look. And after a few finishing touches here and there, we are finally done with our pink carpet Generations of Dreams Margot Robbie. <laughs> 